All right, one one more video tonight uh, while we're here. So uh, in the last video, uh, a little side quest. Okay, we're we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get back to the big tutorial with the blog. Um, these are just like things I just wanted to get out there, you know, in case you actually know your way around couch, this kind of stuff is going to be helpful for you. Um, so in the last little side quest that we did, um, we had, uh, the conditional fields. So if this looks cool to you and you're like, oh, I really want to know how to do that. Go watch the last video, um, conditional fields in the admin panel is probably what I'll title it. Um, now, something else here is, you know, we've got this like name field here. And, you know, names, they they have to have, uh, you know, these hyphens, they can't have spaces. I, I don't, I don't think they can have capital letters. You know, there's like all these things. If it's left blank, It'll be auto-generated based on the the title, you know. So um, it, you, usually you're not going to want your client, usually they don't need to see this. And, um, and most of the time they're confused anyway. They don't know what it means. Um, now you can, you can change this using this tag. So I'm here in the events template. You know, this is the events template here. Um, inside of the template tag, I, I, again, I usually try to keep this stuff at the bottom. Um, this is another config, all right? This is config form view, okay? Form view. Okay, so I'm inside of this tag now. Now, inside of this tag, I can use uh, this other tag called field, all right? And so you can you can kind of select any of the fields that you've defined up here, um, and and the default fields. So like K page title, you know. Let's say I wanted to make the page title hidden, right? So I I can hide it. Now I'm going to view it to persist those changes that we just made. Uh, now it's persisted. I'm going to refresh and look at that. The title is gone, right? So if you didn't have anything here, you're, you're out of luck. Something bad's going to happen. I guess the title is still there in the background. So I guess that's why that happened. But so anyway, um, we're going to want it to be visible. So let's get rid of that. Now, what we don't maybe we don't want to be visible as the k page name most of the time it's not necessary for the client let's say you know if like you wanted the client to like if your if your urls were if they had like the slug like in wordpress land um you know and you wanted them to be able to change that you you could here also it comes in handy like if you um yeah. Also, it would come in handy here, like if you were to rename, you know, this entry to something like um, my special event, or or maybe it's like um, <laughs> your event, right? Now, if I save that, because the name is already already has a value, you know, it doesn't. So that that might be another situation where you might want to, you know, if you're if you have the name and the URL. Um, it might come in handy. A lot of times, though, you don't really need it. So you can hide it, you know, and that that just cleans up the space for your client. Now, if you do think that it's useful for your client to see it, but you don't want it to just be out there, you know, in the open, like right underneath the um, title, you know, like it's, it's not going to be common that they, that they, have to edit this so why is it at the very top you know like you you want to move it so what you could do is you could say okay i'm going to put it uh at the bottom let's say let's give it an order of 999 right um now oh did it do it maybe it 
Hmm. Maybe it doesn't. That's interesting. I, I would have figured that would work. I guess it doesn't work. Um, I know one thing that does work, though, is if you declare a group, let's say you give an editable. I, I used to do this a lot. Um, an editable field, um, we're going to name it SEO. Uh, and we'll get the label SEO. And the type is going to be group. right? Now, its order is going to be 999. right? Uh, I know that'll work. I'm surprised it doesn't work down here, though. Um, Anyway, uh, now we we can declare the group as SEO. So if we save, and cool, now it's now it's tucked down there at the bottom because the group now has that order of nine hundred ninety nine. And you know you can also um, collapsed equals one. I think it's past tense. Yeah, cool. Um, so that's that's what I used to do a long time or not not that long ago. Um, this is why I used to do. I used to do this a lot. I still do it if it makes sense to keep the SEO stuff down here. Um, but something I've been doing recently is uh, let's get it rid of the, uh, that group and let's get rid of this. Uh, something I've been doing recently is I've been renaming it. Uh, so label and I'm naming it slug because that's that's a more common parlance um you know in the web community and the more so in like the admin um administrators you know they're like change the slug so you can you can do that um and then furthermore you can put it inside of uh this area up here this is why i like doing because this is kind of like an advanced setting right it's like if you're gonna have like the published date and the unpublished or published option here um, I think it makes sense for the slug to be down here too. Uh, so let's put it in there. Uh, so that happens to be called advanced settings. I don't know where this is documented. I just came across it one day. So uh, hopefully it being here um, helps to spread the good news. All right. So um, I save that. I'm going to view it. And now it should be, oh, um, no, it's not, it's not parent, it's group. That's it. All right, so now it's inside the group. Now, by default, it's going to be at the top, uh, which I don't like as much. And yeah, like when you give it an order here, it works, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So so it works inside of groups. You can order it within a group, but you can't order it within the whole template. So I keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's that's how I do it. Um, config form view, very useful tag. You can even do things like make like fake fields too. So like fake field labels fake field and then like you can put stuff in here I, I think that'll work yeah so and that that could come in handy too like if you like let's say you have some stuff up here that you um you want to take and then make use of like i've done this with um like stripe uh invoice payment links let's say um and maybe it's related to the event you know that's being declared here and maybe that event has a payment link and you want to show the payment link here right but payment link it, it's like auto generated so it's not really going to be an editable field uh so you could put it here and you can run your logic you know you can do all sorts of you know all the typical couch stuff here i shouldn't say all probably most probably some edge case that you can't do here um, but yeah so that's that's basically it um, config form view get the page name out put it somewhere else you know you've got lots of options here um, to make it look nice for your client all right hope you enjoyed see you in the next one